Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot how to troubleshoot and issues with the in-place upgrade. If you doing any upgrades from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and using SCCM running a task sequence to do an upgrade and you get a, a an error. <clears throat> so if you look at the log, the log is is saved to SCCM uh, Windows CCM slash log slash um, and then the, the log file is called SMSTS. So if you open it up, <clears throat> if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a uh, genetic error code um, with this 8000, 4005. But if you do scroll up to the top, there's a um, operating system has failed to execute and installation has been aborted. If you keep going further, there's also fail to run upgrade operating system and the error code 8400 of oh, 8004005. You keep scrolling up. You also see this error with the Windows setup fail to fail with hexadecimal exit code. So it's kind of generic error. So you're trying to figure out what's wrong with it. So yeah, let me gonna show you. I'm gonna run a test sequence and, and generate this error. So I got this test sequence um, deployed in Software Center. Go to operating system, it should be this one. I'm going to retry to run it. So it's downloading and install software. <clears throat> it should download in the contents. You just have to open up Windows um, C drive and then underscore S SMS task sequence. There should be a folder get created here. There it is. And it's downloading the, the package. So I'm running Windows 7 computer. Um, it's Windows 7, and let's see the. It's a 64-bit Windows 7 Enterprise 64-bit operating system. It's downloading the WIM file. Just take a look at the package here, it's PRI 025. Let's, let's go back to the package. PRI 025, so it's enterprise version, Windows 10, 
let's view the locks the locks should be under windows test sequence no the lock has not been created sandbox I'm going to the the location of, of the um, Windows 10 source files. See, as you can see, it failed here um, with this error code. I'm going to close it out. And it's going to generate a new log file. There it is. 707. I'm 709. It's my time here. And it's the same error. So, what the problem is. It's it's incompatible. The 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 Windows 10 that you try to install is not compatible with your your Windows 7 machine. So in order to verify that, you can verify by installing Windows 10 manually. So here's the source files. I'm gonna click on setup. Click yes. <clears throat> This is how you troubleshoot. So I'm going to click next. Accept the license and term. Right here, this is very important. When you run the setup manually and the the top option is not it's grayed out you won't be able to you can't choose it so I can only have the last one I can it's by its default to the last one I cannot change it I cannot choose the top one so if you run the setup manually and it doesn't give you an option to choose the top one that means your current your Windows 10 machine is not compatible with your Windows 7 machine so that means you need to find a, a different ISO that will that will let you install on top of your current Windows 7 machines. So once again, when you run the setup manually by running by going to the bits and then run setup.exe, and the top choice is not it's not high, it's not um, selected. That means you cannot use this ISO. So in this case, I'm going to click back. I'm going to exit. So that's how you troubleshoot um, and upgrade issues. <clears throat> and if it still fail, if you have the right ISO file and if it still fail you might want to go into your test sequence you c this is for testing you can you can go to uh, modify your test sequence and then upgrade here you want you can you can select this box ignore any dismissal compatible message you only do this when your Windows 7 machine and Windows 10 ISO file are compatible, but you, it's still failing. You can try to select this. So in my case here, 
this Windows 10 um, ISO file or WIM file will not work on this on my Windows 7 machine. And if you have any question or any issues, uh, feel free to put in the comment sections and I can try to help you resolve it. And if you love my video, please don't forget to subscribe. My channel will cover SCCM, Windows 10 deployment, applications deployment, and anything related to Office 365 and Azure. Thank you and have a good day.